I've done my foundation, my contour, and my eyebrows. And if you want to see a video on how I do that, I'd be happy to make one. Just leave a comment down below and let me know. Eyeshadow. I'm going to prime my under eyes with. <laughs> Guys, I'm telling you, this powder is so good. Like, it, yes, it looks pinky, but don't worry about that because for whatever is in this stuff, I mean, it is. A dream like it blends perfectly into the skin it just melts into the skin the pinky color just almost disappears it's completely invisible I mean I'm a fan Patrick you did that you did that with this powder. so I will be taking my beauty blender and I'm just making a light little layer under my eyes and again this is just to prevent the powder from or the eyeshadow from falling all over my makeup what I do next is I'm going to be setting my under like the brow area so i'm going to be using a neutral color and i'm taking the naked palette and this is the naked heat this is the color chaser and i'm just going to add this underneath my brow Next with a kind of like a blending stippling brush to a uh, duo fiber brush, I'm gonna be taking the Urban Decay eyeshadow in Buck. And this is one of my favorite, favorite transition shades. I mean, it's a little bit more cool tone, so it's going perfectly with the eyeshadow look that we're doing today. Um, just in general, I just love it. If I'm just doing like a neutral toned everyday makeup look, it is one of the perfect transition shades. So I'm going to take that on again, a duo fiber blending brush, and I'm just going to lightly go in my crease and create that circular crescent shape. And also with blending out this transition shade, make sure you're keeping it pretty low because with cool tone shades, I find that if you bring it a little too high, it can kind of look like you're sick. Like you don't want to look sick, not cute. You just, you want to look cute. You don't want to look sick. Next with a fluffy brush, I will be taking the Naked Palette again, the Naked Heat, and I will be going in with Low Blow, which is kind of a warm toned neutral. But I do want a little bit of warmth right here in the crease, just so it helps to blend with the transition shade. I can give you what you need. I'm going in with a darker, more charcoal shade, and I will be using this really, really old NYX palette. You guys, don't judge me. It is like the NYX Smoky Eye Matte Look, and it's One Night in Morocco. I got this years ago, and I mean years, like five years ago, six years ago. So don't judge me. I'm not even going to show you guys the palette right now because it's so messy, but I'll be taking a dark charcoal color, and I will just be dabbing it lightly and I'll be putting this again in the inner and outer corners just to create sort of that gradient effect with the darker to lighter and then you'll see you'll see what I'm talking about breathe breathe me and taste my words let me blow your mind Close enough. 
And again, I'm taking the NYX One Night in Morocco palette on an angled brush, and this is more of a fluffy angled brush. Okay, so now that we have all of our darker colors on, we are going to go ahead and carve out our halo in the center of our eye. So let me go ahead and get my concealer brush. Where is it? I will be taking my Tarte Shape Tape in the color Tan Sand and a small concealer brush. And we're going to go ahead and carve out just the center to accentuate the silver glitter that we're gonna be putting on later. Next, I'll go back in with my fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend out the edges. So I went ahead and added the concealer in the center of my eye. I also went ahead and blended out the edges with uh, my fluffy brush with no product just to make sure that it helps to blend the halo. So next for the center of my eyelid, I will be using the Naked 3 palette. Um, I will be going in with the shade Mugshot, which is this one right here, right there. And it's more of like a metallic-y. Um, it's not super, super silver, which is not what I want. That's, that's a good thing, it's not that silver. Um, it's definitely a base color for the glitter. I feel like it's the perfect base color for this glitter. So I'll be taking a flat shader brush and I'll be going in with mug shots and applying that over the center of the lid. Before I do that though, I want to add just a little bit of setting spray. Right now go in the center of my lid. Next, I'll be taking a flat shader brush and I will be going in with um, the mid toned gray that I used, the charcoal that I used um, earlier, and that is going to blend out the inner and outer corner on the sides of the halo just to help blend it all together. You don't want any harsh lines, you guys. Take you far, far away. I'll make you feel alright. You gotta crave it and say, say. Until you're close enough to taste it. I can give you what you need. Next is my favorite part. This is the glitter that we're putting on the center of our eyelid. And I am using the Stila Magnificent Metals and this is the shade Smoky Storm. So it's definitely more, like I can show you guys, it's definitely more of the silver tone that we are looking for. So I will just be taking this right off of the wand and I'll just put it in the center of my eyelids and then we will go ahead and blend out the sides afterwards. So now that we have that in the center of our lids, we are going to go back in with our fluffy crease brush. And we're gonna take that dark charcoal shade again, that very, very dark gray from the NYX palette. And we're going to go ahead and blend out the glitter 
and we really need to make sure that blends well you guys and you have to kind of move quick because I find that when these Stila glitters start to dry they become really gritty and just hard to move around so you've got to have to move you're gonna have to move a little quick with these looks pretty even to me next what we're going to go ahead and do is add some mascara i'm going to be using the l'oreal telescopic and this is the carbon black sorry the labeling is kind of gone there but yes this is carbon black working on my lower lash line um what i'm going to do is start with a transition shade and this is the one that we used earlier i'm going to be taking my duo fiber i guess stippling brush mini blending brush whatever this is and i'll be going in with low blow and this is from the naked heat palette and i'm just going to go under my lower lash line Next, with a round blending brush, I will be going in with the shade Buck from Urban Decay, and this is just their single shadow. And this is actually the shade that we used um, partly as our transition on our lid. So we're going to go under our lash line now with this. Breathe, breathe me in, taste my words, let me blow your mind. Next, to darken up the outer corner um, on our lower lash line, we are gonna be using a pencil brush, and this one, I believe is from Sonia Kashik. I'm gonna be taking this one, and I will take the NYX palette, and again, going in with that very, very dark charcoal shade, and I'm going to just be lining my lower lash line with this. Next, I'm going to line my upper and lower waterline. I will be using the Maybelline Eye Studio, and this is in the blackest black. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add um, some mascara to my lower lash line. So I'm just going to take a fluffy angled brush and wipe away that powder. Next, I'll be applying lashes, and these are the Ardell in number 113, I believe. These are literally my favorites, you guys. They are so, so wispy. I love them. And I'm using my Duo Glue. This is the strip lash one, or the brush-on adhesive. Listen long, long enough, if you can love me. Now that we've added our lashes, we're going to go ahead and finish the rest of our face. So I'm going to be skipping blush this time just because I feel like the look is already a little on the dramatic side. So I feel like blush would just be a little bit too much and it will also warm up the face and we're trying to keep that cool toned look this time. So I think what I'm going to do is just go ahead and start by spraying my face with finishing spray. And this is the Urban Decay All Nighter. A lot of urban decay in this video you guys 
then I'll be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. This is the original. And I'll be taking my domed highlighter brush. And I'll be taking Golden Bronze, which I know this is, we're trying to stay cool toned, you guys, but this is actually more of a neutral. It does actually have a little bit of a cooly, cool, cooly, cool toned, chocolatey color to it. So I think it will work fine. A little bit on my forehead, just above my eyebrows. Cupid's bow. Next, using the same palette, I will be taking an angled fluffy brush, and this I will be using to lightly highlight the high points of my nose. So I'm just lightly going down the center, just a little bit. And then I'll be taking golden bronze and mixing it with dripping in gold. And I'm going to put that on the tip of my nose and blend it out. To further intensify my highlight, I will be using the MAC. Um, this is the Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Oh Darling. And I will be taking that. And you guys, it's breaking, so I really don't want to drop it. But that's what it looks like really really pretty color and again I will be taking my little angled brush and I'm just going down the center of my nose very lightly right here on the bridge because I don't want that to be too accentuated so just very lightly blending it out then I'll be taking the same brush and putting the oh darling on the tip of my nose Next, I'm just going to spray my face again with the Urban Decay All Nighter. And I always do this before, I always do this before I highlight my face just because I feel like it helps to intensify the highlight just a little bit more and you don't have to use as much. And now I'm going to be taking my dome brush, my highlighter brush, and I'm just going on the high point of my cheek. I'm not going all the way up, just right here on that high point. See how it gives you that. Oh. Listen long, long enough. If you can love me, and my cupid's bow just a smidge. My chin, just a little right here. Next, I will be taking this round, uh, sort of dome pencil brush, and I will be going in with the same Oh Darling, and I'm just putting this in the inner corner of my eyes. Say the play it, watch it, then press rewind. I can give you. A then I'm just going back in with my contour brush. This is a Young Blood contour brush, an angle brush. And I'm just going back in with my contour just to help blend it in with my highlight. Next is time for lips. I've already added some lip balm and primed my lips. So next I'll be using the NYX suede um, lip pencil and this is in the shade downtown beauty and I'm just gonna go ahead and line my lips <laughs> be taking my MAC lipstick and this is the matte shade in stone and I'll just be adding this to my lips breathe, breathe me in, taste my words, me. so you guys I almost forgot I'm going to be adding my Anastasia clear brow gel and I usually do this last just because all the powders and eyeshadows and bronzers and highlights that we're adding to our face I don't want all of that to stick onto my brows you know if I put the gel on first so that's why I kind of just put it on as a last step just to kind of comb through the brows and clean them up
All right, you guys, this is it for my final look. I hope you enjoyed this cool toned silver New Year's Eve glam. Uh, obviously, I'm feeling myself. And so if you guys like this video and you want to see more from me, go ahead and hit subscribe. Like this video, comment down below. You guys know what to do. And until my next video, I'll see you guys later.